Lord, when our federal shutdown delays payments of death benefits to the families of children dying on faraway battlefields, it's time for our lawmakers to say enough is enough. Wow. That was a portion of the prayers delivered by Senate Chaplain Barry Black during the government shutdown. His messages drew widespread attention. And actually, he not only is featured on Saturday Night Live and all over the news, <laughs> but you go to his weekly Senator Tim Kaine bipartisan prayer meeting. Sen uh, to Chaplain Black, I call him Senator Black. He's like the 101st <laughs> Senator. Chaplain Black does a uh, every other Wednesday prayer group that's bipartisan. He visits with all of us as freshmen. He comes and offers us uh, some advice about how to do the job and stay grounded. And he's not afraid to, uh, afraid to afflict the comfortable. No. The messages that challenge us to be our better selves. No, he's not. Chaplain, we thank you for joining now. us right now from Capitol Hill. I got to say, you know, if you were a Southern Baptist preacher and you deliver that kind of message in our church, everybody would be talking to you at the door on the way to Morrison's. Any senators come up to you and say, hey, we don't want you talking politics. You just stick to the Bible. Well, I think it would be very difficult for me to pray without reflecting the political environment that I'm in. Politics is defined as relating to government. If the chaplain of the Senate just uttered pious platitudes in his prayer, that would uh, be irrelevant. And so I think that my intercession on behalf of the people that I serve should reflect the challenges that we are facing. I haven't had a single lawmaker tell me to back off what I'm saying. Have right. any uh, along the way asked you for any advice? Well, the nature of my role is advisory. So there have been a number of lawmakers who have wanted to discuss my feelings about a certain issue from a theological and ethical perspective. I can imagine what those questions were. I know he yeah. won't share. Mike, Michael Steele. Uh, uh, Chaplain, uh, Senator Kane mentioned uh, the, the Bible study group uh, that you have, uh, bipartisan, I presume. That's, you kind of must be like uh, Moses parting the Red Sea with some of these guys sometimes, right? <laughs> Is it, I, how, tell us a little bit about that. How does that play out, uh, particularly when the tension is as high as it's been in Washington over the last uh, month or so? Well, I have a Bible study um, each week, and senators from both sides attend that Bible study. It's not nearly as difficult as you might think. It would be like having uh, lawyers coming together to discuss jurisprudence. You may have prosecutors and defense attorneys in there, but law is law. Uh, our lawmakers are people of faith. Paul said in Philippians 4, there are saints in Caesar's household. There are, there are spiritually, morally, and ethically fit people on Capitol Hill. So when we come into our Bible study, we are, we are discussing theological constructs that each lawmaker is interested in. And it's not that complicated. We have more in common theologically than most people would imagine. Jeremy Peters. Chaplain, good morning. Nice to talk to you again. I, I never know how to address you. You have so many <laughs> illustrious titles, Chaplain, Rear Admiral, Doctor. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> so I'll ask you, the, the country got what you've been praying for, maybe not as quickly as, as you and others would have hoped, but there's a resolution to this crisis. What will you pray this morning when you convene the Senate? Hmm. Well, the Senate is not convening this morning, but I have a prayer ready for our <laughs> next convening. And I think that it will reflect what our lawmakers are feeling. And I think that that is gratitude to God. I think that there were many people of faith around the nation who were praying that this impasse would be broken. And so I'm going to reflect some of that in my prayer. Uh, I think that uh, this challenge that we have just met 
is going to make us stronger as a nation. David said in the 119th Psalm, verse 67, it was good for me that I have been afflicted. And I think sometimes mm -hmm. it's good uh, when a nation goes through vicissitudes and when that nation comes out uh, of the challenge. We are stronger as a result of that. All right. Senator Tim, Chapman. Well, one of the best things that Chaplain Black does is he encourages us to, to look at each other, not just as an R or a D, but to, to have that kind of civility and courtesy. That's what's in short supply, the compromise gene. And Chaplain Black has always at us to, to try to find that good in each other and work better together. And, and that's why we value him so much. Senator Chaplain Barry Black, thank you so much.